Um, so my feeling is to prevent, is again just personal, you know, is to make sure as parents we're really listening to our children and not um, putting our ideas top down on them, which is of course, I, I'm older, I'm 58 now, and I grew up in a time where children were to be seen and not heard. And my parents weren't really listening, they were telling. And so I didn't feel anyone was listening to me. And, and, and the thing is, in that scenario, children will look for someone who will listen, and often predators fill that gap. So, I mean, it, it's a small thing, but it's a big thing at the same time. Also, really watching who your children are with, um, knowing the adults, and also maybe not leaving them alone with adults. However, the problem is, is that children don't grow unless they are allowed to experience freedom. So the other thing I like to say is that we can't ultimately protect our children and what we ultimately have to do is try to make them resilient. And how do we make them resilient? Because bad things do happen to everyone and we are, it's incapable of protecting them from everything. So I think the question is, how do we really make kids resilient? And they have to learn to have small failures and know that we're going to be there um, as adults. And um, this is a big question for society. I really don't believe that you can protect kids from everything. And if you do, you'll make them so weak that they won't be able to take care of themselves.